go. This place is so crazy. Growing up, I always told everyone, I want to be in the Navy. Coming from a military family, I think it just rose up on me. My dad always told me about my grandfathers. They were both boats and mates from my mom's side and my dad's side. And then my dad was a uh, ABF. His job was like an aviation boats and mates. When I read what BMs did and their jobs, I, I was like, I love this. You told me, Dad, I'm going to be a boatswain's mate. And I remember I had a fit. I remember how told. bad you you thought the the I, rate I, was. I told you it's going to be a dirty, dirty job, and they're going you're going you're going to hate it. I was a sponge, like I wanted to learn so bad about what my job really was. They were so gung-ho on getting me started. Being three Benita is gonna be working on the wire. Wire brush that off and apply tourmaline to that. All right. So all the way around it. All right, feel sick charge. I had really no idea what type of traditions BMs really had. You know, I knew it was definitely one of the oldest rates in the Navy. I felt like I'm part of that now, you know, like that's something that I really took in. The fact that I think I was so open and willing to learn so bad, I think is what people were like, oh man, you know, like, this guy's really not bad. Let's give him a chance. That was one of the like best feelings, you know, to, to feel like this family has just taken me in as their own now. I knew that these guys were going to have my back and I couldn't have theirs. A boats and mates job revolves around the integrity of the ship. They were chipping paint, moving the anchor. We take cargo, we drive the ship. And every BM that I've met has always had that high pride for that work that they've done. If we take care of the ship, she's gonna take care of us. You know, our job is pretty hard at, at given times. You know, it, it, it wears your body down. You're sore and you're tired and you're ready to go to sleep, but we have to, you know, do the next job. I think that the reason why we have so much pride is because we have that strong workforce. If I have these people working around me, we can do whatever we put our minds to. Sooner or later, these guys are gonna be your family and you know, you're just gonna have to come to accept that, that these guys are gonna be your best friends until either the day you leave or the day they leave. Nice catch, dude. Check it out, man. Quick. <laughs> Looks sick, man. That's pretty much it, dude. <laughs> now you're oh. you're one of us now. <laughs> for life, friend. Yes, for life. <laughs> Thank you. No problem, no problem. And now when I tell my friends that you're a boatswain, they're like, what? what? You didn't tell him? I said, he loves it and he takes pride in that. And I had to apologize to you because <laughs> I, that, that was your choice. And, you know, sometimes dads have to take a step back and apologize. And I did. And... Especially now, you know. Look at, I, yeah, I, look, at, look I, at us now. Look at you. You, <laughs> you make those guys, and those guys make you stand tall. And you guys are, are hardworking young men. I feel like if my grandfather's right here, like they would be like, my grandson made the right choice. You know, he picked the right job. When I have children one day, you know, I, I definitely feel like you know if they were to join the military, you know, it it would extend that beneath this family even more. I've never been deployed before. This is going to be my first deployment ever. And, you know, I'm pretty excited, you know, and nervous. You're 
going to be gone for, was it seven, eight months? Seven, eight months, yeah. I, that's going to be hard. It's a little nerve wracking, but you know, I know my ship and my guys are, are ready to go. And what have, what have we always told you? Like, you take, when you go, you take advantage of that. You know, you being the age that you are, are going to see things and go places that the average person isn't going to be able to do. You just, you go out and you see the world. My family has taught me and, you know, raised me. And, you know, it's just like they've given me that feeling of, being surrounded by loving people. But having that same feeling on board Momsen makes me feel like I'm at home. I feel like I belong. My name is Michael Benitez. I'm a boatswain mate in the United States Navy.